Welcome back to the show. There is nothing better than coming together as a family for a summer cookout. And that's what this next cookbook is all about. Nicole Taylor's new book, Watermelon and Redbirds, a cookbook for Juneteenth and black celebrations, has easy to make and cheerful recipes that are perfect for any get together, as she showed us when she stopped by the studio last week. We have barely started cooking and it already smells delicious in here. But first question I have to ask, the title of the book, Watermelon and Redbirds, how did you come up with that title? I know it is a cookbook for Juneteenth and black celebrations, but what does watermelon and redbirds have to do with this? Well, watermelon is a classic all-American fruit. No matter who you are and where you live, who doesn't love a juicy, red piece of watermelon in the summertime and red birds is a story that my mom told me and that's if you see a red bird coming beside you there's someone from your family or our family that's died and they're coming back to say hello Aww. so i thought that was a perfect way to honor the past present and the future okay that's a poetic title right i love that <laughs> yeah oh my goodness well, the food in here is also very family oriented. It totally. just reminds me, it calls for people getting around a table together and enjoying. So what are we making today? We are making the pretzel pounded fried chicken. It is in my everyday Juneteenth chapter. It's the chapter that I say, it's summertime, you're going to the beach, you're going to a family reunion or a picnic, make this. Make this. Make this. Starting off first with the chicken, I have a chicken tender or cutlet. You can get a bigger piece, mm -hmm. smash it down, and I add fish sauce. This is a secret. Fish sauce? This is a secret. Okay. Yeah, and if you don't have fish sauce or if you are not eating fish, you can switch it out with soy or... Okay, or tamari maybe? Tamari for sure. Okay. okay, So I put a little fish sauce on the chicken and this here. The chicken salt. The it chicken is, salt. This is in the front of my cookbook where I mention <laughs> my salts and seasonings. I add the chicken salt. And you can make that chicken salt at home. You make it in advance, put it in your pantry. You okay. can put it on pretty much everything. It is my go-to on fried chicken, every, my everyday fried chicken, <laughs> okay. right? So you put, put the um, chicken salt on the front and on the back, and then we start dredging. I create three dredge bowls, one with seasoned all-purpose flour. Okay, seasoned? Yeah, a okay. seasoning meaning, uh, you know, you can put a little chicken salt in here, put a little salt and pepper, okay. and then I'm gonna have you do this. Okay. And then you take the cutlet and put it in the egg. Okay. I always wonder, how do you, so you just kinda, you do shake it off a little. You shake it off for sure. Okay. And then here, this was an accident, right? I was testing this recipe a million times and I was just using panko or breadcrumbs mm -hmm. and I ran out. And I was like, wait, I have pretzels. I always keep pretzels. Yeah. So in this bowl, there's a pretzel mixture with breadcrumbs or panko. That's awesome. I. There are so many days, like the other, t just the other day, yeah. I found out my grandma used all the rest of my panko. And I was like, why, why wouldn't she tell me? <laughs> Pretzels, pretzels. And I ended up using some crackers. There you go. I didn't and have pretzels, so but now I will. You've done that. This doesn't take a lot of time at all. Right. Your three bowls, you have your chicken, and then you move over to the hot pan. Oh, right. Man. I love the, the, the big chunks of pretzel on there, too, so you don't have to get it super finely ground. No, no. And I feel like this is a great weeknight meal, but mm -hmm. you also can crisp up a bunch of these and take it to someone's house for a backyard picnic or a barbecue. And this tastes good cold. 100%. Because leftovers, <laughs> hello. I, I will go into the fridge and grab some leftover fried or baked chicken and just eat it. Totally. Breakfast. It's okay. Totally. So you put this in this hot pan okay. with olive oil. I use an everyday olive oil okay. or you can use some um, what I call high smoke, or people call high smoke um, oil. Okay. And here you have it, the pretzel pounded crusted chicken. I think that is such a fun twist. And then I also like the fact, because it's especially getting my kids to eat it, yeah. sometimes they won't eat chicken off the bone. <laughs> So they're like, they'll eat this all day long. All right, what else do you have in the book? I know we have your granitas right here. We have the granitas and they're so beautiful and fun. And if you are a person who's doing a little gardening, you always have a whole bunch of cucumbers. cucumbers. <laughs> exactly. You can grow them no matter what you do. So essentially cucumbers in a blender, water, mm -hmm. sugar, you put it in a pan, 
overnight, you run a fork through the ice mixture and then plate it. Really? Well, well, not plate it, but uh, put it in a cup. Isn't it amazing? Mm. Uh, and I love, I always like to add more color on top of oh my, my goodness. desserts. It's wonderful, okay, right? Okay, when you were explaining what was in this, I was like, how flavorful is it going to be? It's a cucumber. This is so flavorful. Okay, I love this. This is perfect for a picnic. What about your coleslaw over here? It looks a little different than regular coleslaw. What makes coleslaw. it special? Coleslaw. A must for all of our summertime mm -hmm. gatherings. The grill poblanos. The Ooh. very green coleslaw, this is what I named it, and it's because I have so many green vegetables in here. The poblanos, the green onions, the green cabbage. So perfect. You can take this without the sauce or the vinaigrette okay. on top and then add it when you get there. Add it when you get there. That That's is a the really key. good that tip. I like key. that. I gotta stop eating this granita. This is so good. Thank you. And guess what? What? You wanna switch this out with zucchini? Do that. Really? Totally. Tastes just as good? All right. I believe you. Uh, really quickly before I let you go, when you decided to write this book, yeah. how did you go about picking these recipes? One of the things that I wanted to do with this book, two things, is mm -hmm. to make this, the recipe super accessible. Meaning no, where, no matter where you live or how much money you had, you can make at least one thing from the book. I also wanted to center the African American long table and traditions of celebrations in the African American mm -hmm. community. So yes, we have fried chicken, but it's not the laborious Sunday dinner fried mm -hmm. chicken. It's really quickly, so it's, you can fix it really fast. So. That was my whole goal. Those are two it. things. I really love it that the emphasis is on the celebration and the togetherness in this book. 100%. And the food is there to, to aid it all. So thank you so much, Nicole. Thanks for, for having your, me. This has been great. And now we get to eat lunch. Let's dig in. Let's go. Let's get ready. <laughs> all right. Well, Nicole shared her pretzel fried chicken recipe with us, and it's on New Day's website. So go check it out. It was so delicious. You're going to love it.